Hello everyone. I hope you can hear me. Let me know if you can see me. Put a little comment. Today we are going to be painting a British Bulldog. So I hope you all had lots of fun street parties, socially distancing while we're in lockdown. And I thought today we would commemorate it because we're still doing our rainbow animals. But I thought let's make it a little bit more about VE Day because this is such a special time. Hi Vanessa, good, I'm glad that this is working. Marvellous, so I'm going to get started because we've got lots to do today and I don't want to take up loads of your time. So um, we're going to start, hi Oscar and James, we're going to start a bit further down the page because something is going to appear on his head a bit later. So if you start down about here I'm going to start with a simple round M shape, like that. And then we're going to come round and fill in the width of his head, like this. Now the thing with bulldogs is they've got all these crinkly wrinkles and we want to get that over in our British Bulldog picture. So I'm going to be doing a few wrinkly bits. So we've got a wrinkle here and a wrinkle around this side and another one coming around to here like this. Okay, so that's the basic start of your head shape. And then we're going to come around to the jaw underneath. And we've got his basic head. And now I'm going to put in his nose just pretty much in the just up from the middle of his head with those nostrils. Like that. And we'll bring this bit over like a bridge above his nose. Okay. Oh, we've got lots of people following us. Hi Flo and Hattie and George and Jenny and Matt and another George and Jazz and Jenny and Karen and baby Dylan and Elowin. Lovely to see you all. Thank you. So that's essentially the main bits in. Now we want to put in his eyes because they're so important aren't they? And we're going to do smiley eyes so that they turn up at the ends. And remember the highlights in the eyes always. And as I said in my intro um, before I started the video, I'll be using watercolours today because I know lots of you have been buying watercolours, which is amazing. You don't have to, but yes, lots of people have been in touch saying they've been inspired to buy watercolours. So I thought, yep, yeah, we'll carry on with our watercolours today. And hi, Annabelle and Am um, Amelia and Emily and Lily. Brilliant. Now we've got to have a big smile for our British Bulldog. all the way round up here. Down and round. Big smiley face. Like this. And they do have these little teeth popping up. And I'm going to do his tongue just above the teeth and round. because he has got wrinkles. I'm going to add a few in to make him look really bulldog-like. He's got his little lids over his eyes and bags under his eyes. 
Okay. So now I'm going to carry on with his body, first of all. Again, the same kind of shapes that we did coming down his face. And coming right down the leg. And they've got these big paws, haven't they? Weirdly, bulldogs remind me a bit of Bassets. I grew up with Bassets and they've got all the wrinkles and the big paws and quite muscly. And we'll get this leg in. Lovely big muscly legs and little wrinkles in the feet. And those little claws. And then his tummy. And we have sort of line down the middle of a bit of furry bit. And I'll just pop a little paw in the background. his back comes down into a sitting position here. And his other paw just underneath his hips. Okay. And then the claws. There. Now, what's he missing? Anyone know? Hi Layla and Lara. Hi Elizabeth and James. And Maisie says hello to Alice. Hello. Hello, she says. <laughs> okay, so he's missing his ears, isn't he? But the reason I've missed them out is I want him to wear a big hat. So we are celebrating VE Day. So I'm going to do a disc on top. this and a nice jolly hat. You can do a different type of hat, you could do a party hat. We can use our imagination with this. So then I want his ears poking out behind the hat. Okay, looks a bit more like him now. So we've got our basics there. I'm going to pop in a few of these little bits that the whiskers come out of. Because that's a good feature of bulldogs. Well, bulldogs really, but I like them on the bulldogs particularly. There we go. And I'd like to give him a bow tie because... Again, we're celebrating. So we're doing a nice big bow tie. And because he's got all these flaps of skin, so just all wrinkly, we'll do some wrinkles down here, a little bit here, and then just have a bit of the bow tie just showing either side there. And I'm going to write 75 from here. And let's write VE up on his hat. Wasn't that weird? Have your bank holiday on a Friday. We had a lovely street party here. All the street came out and we all sat in front of our houses and chatted. It was lovely. While distancing. Right, a few little 
added bits in here. I like the way they have these little diamond shapes. Okay, he is pretty much drawn now. I know I'm going quite fast, but it's a lot to do. And you can always watch on catch up if you need to carry on. Right. And hi Natalie with Emily and Matt as well. Nice to see you. So I'm going to get started on the watercolour. So rainbow colours, but a bit of red, white and blue. So let's start with our red, as we always seem to with these things. And actually, for speed, I'm going to put some water on here first. Like I did with the rainbow bunnies, I don't know if you remember. And it will help the colours merge really quickly. Filling this with water because when you want to do a quick watercolour painting, it's a really good way to get your watercolour merging if you've got a wet surface, first of all. But I'm only wetting in the areas that I want to paint. Starting with his body. Okay. So I'm going red first. And the other side. And we'll get some orange. Lovely bright colours. And you'll be getting used to how to do all this by now because you've done so many rainbow animals. And that orange over here. Down to the yellow. Looking bright and beautiful already. I think it's obvious what I'm going to call this one. <laughs> Alice is whispering it. Go on, what am I going to call it, Alice? Winston. Winston. This is Winston. Uh, green. you Winston and down to a nice purple Rainbow Winston. So that's his body. Oh, that's a bit 
two. Get this yellow under his chin, yellow orange. Okay, then I think I'm going to put my purple at the top and work our way down just for a change. But you can do it however you like with your rainbows, it's just getting all these rainbow colours in. And some green. Green around the eyes. Yellow. Get it out of his mouth. Should we give him a red nose? <laughs> Winston, the red nose bulldog, Alice is singing. Started a whole new song, Alice. <laughs> I'm going to leave a little highlight on his nose. See on the top. And it's slightly bleeding there. The water. Through, but that's okay, that's all part of watercolour. And I'll put a bit of pinky red in his mouth for his tongue. <sighs> He's very colourful. Just leave some of those teeth showing. Oh, and I might make his ears purple because that's the carrying on the colour at the top of his head. It's a purpley blue colour. And then a bit of shadow in the bottom part of his nose. Okay, so we can do our red, white and blue now. So I think we'll give him a red hat. But you can choose whatever you think. Go with your own colours or go with these, it's up to you. Just enjoy it, let it flow.
some lovely bright colours. to there. Lovely. And let's give him a blue bow tie. I'm painting around the 75 so that, that shows up. And then just in his mouth we want it to be a bit darker at the back so just filling in that bit with a bit of dark blue to down where his tongue starts, just around here as well. Just fill in the dark areas of the mouth. He looks jolly, doesn't he? And then I'll put a little shadow underneath him. So he's sitting on something. Oh, and I've forgotten his paw, his back paw. I need to put that in. Just a gentle wash at the bottom. So he sat on something. Cool. Okay, and now that red's dried a bit, I'm going to put a blue ribbon to go with his blue bow tie. Just painting around the VE for that to show up as the white. You may want to make your hat a Union Jack hat. Fill in his eyes. I might give him brown eyes. And then where I've got those little diamond shapes. Just make those a little bit darker. There you go, there's Winston. Now feel free as well <laughs> to put in some bunting, um, put in some swirly red, white and blue shapes, some flags, um, have a little play with how you want to make him your personal VE Day Winston and can I show oh look oh I'm loving these kids so my children are not going the rainbow route 
but they're going the purely red, white and blue route. I haven't even looked at these, they're fabulous. So this is Alice's. I love that, Alice. Oh, and he's so happy as well. Hasn't he done well? Yeah, red, white and blue looks really good. Well done. Isn't that fab? So that's Alice in year five. And this is Jamie's. I'm just literally taking it away from him as he paints. <laughs> I'll jog you. <laughs> Jamie year eight. Look at that, he's fabulous. They've got such characters. I think I'm going to add some bunting to mine after this and make it even more red, white and blue. You've inspired me. I love it. <laughs> Fabulous. Well done, everyone. Fantastic. So enjoy painting your bulldogs. I can't wait to see what you're going to come up with. Um, you've done really well. Um, now, also, just to let you know, I have started up, finally managed to get started a YouTube channel. And so all of these videos will end up on my YouTube channel. So just search Sally Gooden Animal Artist and you can access these videos anytime because I know some people don't use Facebook. So I thought that was a way to make it even more accessible to people. Um, anyone who would like to find out more about the series of online tutor tutorials that I'm putting together, um, I'm going to do some much more in-depth ones to do online. And if you're interested in finding out more, then just fill in my Google form, which I'll put out for everyone to um, to put to put their details in, and then I can get in touch with you when I've got those organised. Um, and as usual, if anyone would like to give to this brilliant cause, then I'll put the details in the comments as well. So that's fantastic. Well done, everyone. I can see that everyone's working very hard today because it's a lot quieter on the comments. I did go quite fast. This is quite a big project, but I really wanted you to manage to um, do something fantastic to celebrate VE Day. And I'm going to now put some bunting in and I'm going to leave you to carry on with yours. And I can't wait to see what you produce to put in our Spread Artie Joy uh, photograph album. I'm amazed at all the stuff that you're sending me I absolutely love it it's spreading arty joy in our family isn't it and send them to your relatives send them to all these people who can't see you um, it's a really good way to to make them happy okay take care everyone lovely to see you and I'll see you next week if we're still in lockdown which I imagine we will be take care bye